up YouTube welcome back to the channel <clears throat> damn sorry uh, welcome back to the channel um, I hope you guys are enjoying the content that I produce so far I know I haven't been posting a lot lately but that's because I've been busy doing other things and just to show you guys kind of what I've been doing you know there's gonna be a lot of videos I have to do but just to give you to keep get you guys updated to what I've been doing um, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek so I got me some rims for the car as you can see the OZ racing rims they look really really good they're really clean I don't know if I'm gonna keep it that color I might end up painting them black or whatever but for now these are as they wrapped on Hancock wheels but they are lightweight they're super lightweight compared to those so yeah my plans are to install these I try to install them but the studs on these that this car that the Honda Accord comes with are too short so they literally don't even go into so I bought longer extended studs for this for, for my Accord I'm waiting for the extended studs to come in. Once the, the extended studs come in, I'm gonna take the old these studs off, put the extended ones, and then I can finally put these wheels on. But I already test fitted this, so it clears the caliper and the rotor. These are 17s, so they fit. So the car is gonna be lighter, and you know, rotational mass means a lot. So the car will be faster just with these wheels because it's lighter and uh, with smaller wheel. So besides that, what I did, obviously, if you can see over there, I took my exhaust off completely. So just to let you guys know if anybody want to buy my exhaust setup, my old exhaust setup, it's basically stock exhaust, straight piped all the way to custom tips as you can see over there. If you guys want to buy it, uh, hit me up on Instagram, um, it's on the description box. Also before I go to the next thing that I got, I got the front pipe, PRL front pipe and down pipe in this box. So if you guys want to buy that, hit me up on the DMs and Instagram as well. And I also have the stock front pipe and down pipe as well if you want to buy stock front pipe down pipe. But I do got the PRL. Besides that, what I did, this I'm have to go. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it. Let's go. So let's go another. Side. So as you can see there, that's a custom 2.5 inch exhaust straight pipe from all the way from the front pipe back that I did. So I stock piping. I think is like uh, uh, um, I don't, I don't even know. It's probably like an inch and some change. But yeah, it's thinner. Look at this, skinny. You know what I'm saying? Compared to that, it's beefy, really big, 2.5 inches. So um, yeah, that's what that's for flow. And it's a single exit. It's not a dual exit. So it's not a dual exit. It's a single exit exhaust, single exhaust system. This is dually. If you guys want to buy the dually, but yeah, um, this uh, straight pipe is not staying there. I'm actually gonna try to get a vibrant exhaust to put on here, a uh, vibrant muffler. I mean, so this is just straight pipe for now until I find a vibrant muffler. Then I'm gonna install that. But other than that, I hope you guys um, like the mods that are going to be coming. Obviously, I got wheels. I did the, the exhaust system. I still have to install um, my flex fuel kit. I haven't done that yet. I haven't had time to do that. But once I install the flex fuel kit, then I'll go get dyno tune. But I probably most likely want to do the wheels first and get the vibrant muffler on. And then um, I'm going to try to get my K-Tune slave cylinder. Like I have a K-Tune slave cylinder as well installed. So I want to get the, the wheels on my vibrant muffler my k2 slave cylinder and then i'm gonna uh, install the flex fuel kit and then i finally get dyno tune so yeah i'm just i'm just it's lack of time if i had all the time in the world this car would have been done a long time ago i have all the parts i need i just well i don't have the studs yet for the wheels but i have like the flex fuel kit i have the k2 slave cylinder i just haven't have time to install it so whenever i have time i'll install those and whenever the studs come in i'll put the extended studs have a video on that and yeah, put the vibrant muffler as well so you guys get a sound clip. I'm gonna have a sound clip of this. I'm gonna have a video of this exhaust setup. Also with the open front pipe, which you guys seen in that 150 mile video. That was open front pipe. That wasn't a full exhaust. I took the exhaust off at that. Obviously my exhaust is there. I was driving a whole full day without no exhaust. I loved it like that. But I just wanna have a complete exhaust just because it's, the fumes of the exhaust would come in every now and then. Not as strong, but it would. But anyways, let me, um. That's what that's what's gonna happen. But if you guys want to buy my exhaust, my front pipe, my down pipe, just hit me up on Instagram DM. That's the best way to contact me, and then we work a deal. But make sure you local. I'm not gonna ship nothing. I'm not planning on shipping anything. I ain't gonna. If you live in California or whatever, I ain't. I ain't be for that. You know. If you're like an hour from me, I wouldn't mind. You know, meeting you halfway or something. But I'm not shipping anything. But anyways, let's get to the video. As you can see, I don't think I ever walked around the car and haven't updated you guys because I've been just been busy. But look, we got a broken tail light. Because, short, long story short, at my job, you had to park in a parking lot. And what happened was, one of the drivers backed into my car while it was parked, shattered my whole tail light. And as you can see, 
scratch my bumper off. So he, I already ordered new tail lights. He's gonna be paying me for the new tail lights that I bought. And I didn't buy OEM ones. They're right there in the box. I bought some like LED night style ones. You're gonna see that. I don't know if it's gonna be in this video. I doubt it, but stay stay tuned for that video because the lights I'm gonna put on the back of this car is gonna look amazing. And then besides that, another thing that I haven't updated you guys is this size. You can see it has a donut. That's because somebody ate a stop sign and as you can see, dented my my fender. My um fender arch. So yeah, not only did it damage my rim, which is the dim is the rim is getting repaired now at a shop. They also damaged the body of the car. So yeah, once the rim comes back, then we're gonna go to the shop and fix this. But yeah, it's been the last two weeks been really annoying with this car. Still have emergency brake issues as well. One of my emergency brakes, I forgot which is the other side that doesn't want to activate. Still having issues with that. And I'm still having boost issues as well. The custom piping that I did is giving me issues. So, but anyways, what I'm planning on doing today is to put my rims on. And I don't even think I even showed you guys that yet. If I did, then you guys know what rims I'm talking about. But the rims that I plan on putting on are these OZ racing rims, which are these right here. OZ racing rims. So the only problem with putting these rims on is that you need longer studs. The studs don't fully come out through the hole. So I bought ex extended studs. So what we're going to be doing is take these rims off, all of them off. And we're going to be taking off the wheel studs. And then after we take the wheel studs, we're going to put the new ones that I bought. And I'm going to show you guys the new ones after I take these off. So yeah, just stay tuned for that and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Working on the taillights today, as you guys can see from the last video, that these were broken. We're going to finally change them and replace them with the new ones that I got. I'm going to show you that what I got afterwards for now i'm gonna try to take these old ones out because i'm tired of seeing it shattered and yeah i'm gonna get straight to it pretty sure i gotta remove the cover over here in the back of the car and i'm gonna do that now i already removed this black cover but this is one of the covers you have to remove obviously i take this off apparently it's for no reason because all i gotta do is take this cover off right here after you take this black trim off the two bolts to the hold the light is right here and i think they're like a size eight or flips so i'm gonna get that right now and i'm gonna Let's flip it over there. Yeah, Alright, so this is the right side. I'm going to show you guys right now. I'll wrap it. This is the new one that I bought. Look at that. Compared to... Thumbnail. Old <laughs> shitty ones. Boom. Look at that. So these, you see how it has an extra wire over here? And the old one doesn't have it. It's like an LED type thing. You're going to need these wires over here that it comes with. It's going to connect to this thing right here, like that. It's going to connect together. And then the other side is going to connect to one of these. They're going to connect together. You see how they're connected already? So when I put it on, I'll show you guys what I mean. So we're going to connect this back real quick, just like this. Make 
you connect this thing. This from the other one. Before you, you close this. Put it inside the hole. Just to make it easier for us. Now that I've already connected. And then we're going to try to put this back on. Try to stick the small holes to the side first. Finally, after taking that thing for like 30 minutes, we're gonna take this tape off. It comes with these two padding things. We're gonna take this white tape off. I'm gonna stick it on the side marker one, which is this. We're gonna stick it on that. That way, um, we have protection, and it seals it from the rain and all that. That's basically what this is. Stuck. That's it. Good to go. Now we gotta put it on here. Just the hard This wire is going to connect to this wire that you have your side, like that. But I'm going to figure out a way how to tuck it first before I connect it to that. Right now I'm tying in the bolts real quick. The same bolt we took out, just repeat it. and off just so you could see it like the thing that it did yeah hold up 
I don't know, it tests whatever you want to do, reverse or... Yeah, they're working. Uh, press brake. That, that's you pressing brake? Yeah. Un don't press it anymore? Oh, okay. And then reverse? I don't know if you want to try reverse. So basically, if you want your reverse to work, you want the reverse to work, you see this white box right here? For some reason, it didn't connect to my car. This black one to that. So what I ended up doing is, if you come over here real quick, I don't know if you guys can see. All right, so you see that this has like, uh, like a gold. Like, let me put my phone light real quick because I can't see nothing. See how it has like a gold strips on the, on the, on that right there. I don't know if you guys can see that because the camera, you know. Yeah, those gold strips right there. You're gonna pull those out and then you're gonna put it connect it to that box by that little white box right there. Those gold strips into that white box. I'll show you guys what I mean. See, now that you have these gold strips out like this, you're gonna connect it into that box by the same color wire. See how it has a white and black? You want the white and the black connect to white and white or black to black. Connect it into that box and then you'll be good to go. See, just like that, now they connected together, the black piece that had gold into the white box. And then now, close this real quick, we have the backup lights working. So now what I'm going to do is basically, now I have all these wires connected, I'm going to basically put them lined up to this. I'm going to have this wire connect to this um, the trunk. The trunk like this, all lined up, make it look nice and tucked. Same thing on the other side with zip ties, and then I get back. Uh, oh, the reverse is on. Is doing the yeah I think so let me let's check 